All right, how's it going guys? Diamond here and welcome to a Halloween special where today we're going to be doing a plugin related to Halloween and today we have it on Trick or Treat. Developer contacted me literally yesterday to do a video on this and I'm so glad he did because I was looking at the plugin and I was saying, wow, that's a great plugin to do in Halloween and here we are. Let's go. So today we're doing on Trick or Treat. Trick or Treat is a fun game for Halloween or other seasons as a known tradition in Halloween where you can go to door to door and collect sweets. And this one is the same thing, but you also have costumes that you can use, such as mine right here. I am using a fancy dancing costume right here. Uh, I don't know, maybe like a half zombie with a ghost leg. But yeah, uh, you have costumes. You can go to door to door and knock it. Some people will actually want you to give some ingredients so they can get you to treat. And there's also that they, were, they will tell you like, hey, maybe for the next door, you should wear this costume instead. You'll get more treats from it. There is certain things or events that happen as well. This is a very well coded plugin and you guys should totally check it out in the description down below. So we're going to go ahead and get started and the way we get started with that is pretty simple uh the event already has started so i can go to door to door and knock on it so we'll go to this door right here and knock on it after this i'll show you guys how to set it up correctly and we can just go ahead and knock on the door and it'll say you have knocked on three out of eight doors i've knocked on a few doors after this. let's not worry about that and then somebody appears and it's julius and it's an amazing costume you have there buddy and he'll say who is always ringing on my door i hate these knock knock gingers and then he'll say collect the brick. So I have to come over here and you'll set the location of every single item as well. So this is where I set my bricks. Let's go ahead and do that. You don't have to do bricks. You can set any ingredient as names you want. And then I can just go ahead and bring it back. It'll also give you the location of where it is. I can go ahead and knock on the door again. Someone else coming at the door as well. So we have Philip, and he says, I hope this is the postman. I'm waiting on my package since two weeks. And then I'll of course get all the sweets. And I can just go ahead and wait. And there you go. I got the sweets. Let's go boys. You know, I'm getting more than I ever got in my whole life of actually going Halloween. I think I'm just going to play Minecraft now. And he also gave me a tip. Here's a tip for your head. I think your head isn't scary at all. So I'm going to have to put a head that looks scarier. Oh, man. I'm going to go for hopefully the bloody man because this one is the scariest to me. There you go. So let's go ahead and knock on the door. And he'll just appear. Now, who is this one? It's Tim. I couldn't be Ted. But yeah, it says, I think this is the postman. I'm waiting for my package since two weeks. And then he will say, there's also percentage that they will give you nothing. There's also percentage of thieves as well. And then for him, he's just safe for me to go collect the brick again. And it's very fun. You can just have a whole entire server going around and playing with you as well. Imagine like a whole server of trick or treats going on. It would actually be pretty cool. It's actually really nice for like a roleplay type of server, or even just simple SMP. I really feel like it. And then John appeared. Oh, are you crying, John? Don't cry, buddy. I'm here for you. And it says, I'm on a toilet, please hold on. You cry on a toilet again, John. Ooh, actually, I'm actually getting more. Did I get more treats? Ah, oh, no, I didn't. I guess I didn't get the spooky head enough. But yeah, new trip. Uh, chest plate. Sometimes colors are too much. Go for simple modern. Now, here's the trick. Um, the plugin does not update unless you change the head. So you have to click on a white. So modern is like a white one. And let's go ahead and change like for, let's go for a koala because that will fit in perfectly. And there you go. I'm a koala now. And then I'll go ahead and knock on the door. This is of course supported by MySQL and single servers as well. So put a cake on oven. Hold it on. I'm coming. And it is Philip. Philip, I swear to God, you were just at that house. And of course, you have to be careful with thieves as well. They will steal you. Uh, Philip's just telling me to get the brick. Everyone wants, me. Everyone wants a brick. It feels like they're going to throw it in my head pretty soon. And let's go ahead and go over here and just give him the brick. Ingredient delivered. Someone will appear. And it's Julius again. Did someone just ring my door? I'm pretty sure I did, buddy. Pretty sure. There we go. Got my sweets again. Ooh, I'm actually getting a... Oh, wow. That is for me. That is because I uh, got the right costume. You get low, of course, percentage. So, new tip. Here's a tip. I think your head isn't... Oh, no. I don't know which one's scary enough. Uh, let's go for a ghost, maybe, I guess. Hopefully. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know if I got the correct one. But that's really cool. There's, like, there's a better system to it. You can't just go to every single door and knock for, you know, candy. And then, god damn it, Philip! Just like in every house already, it's getting annoying. There you go. I actually got 50. I think I might have got the correct house. Okay. Uh, here's the tip. I think your head. Oh my god, <laughs> no! But you get pretty much the system. You can add it to every single door in every single house. It's pretty simple like that. Other than that, there's not much to it. I'm gonna show you guys how to set up this plugin. It's relatively simple, quick, and I just love it. So let's go ahead over to that. We can even check the config after that one. So let's hop into it. 
All right, with a blank canvas, we can actually start this off. It's pretty simple. The developer did it made it, so it's all via GUI and just a stick. So we're gonna set up about, let's go for like half these houses, mainly just the big ones. And we can show you how it works, relatively simple. So we can do TLT, which is trick or treat. And then we can do setup item and we can grab the item right here. So it is just a stick. And then all you have to do is shift and click it in the air. And then we're gonna have everything. We can start the event and we can also stop it for here. We can create a door, we can create ingredients, and then we also have the location. This is where the, every pretty much time you join, this is gonna be location right here. So we can just go ahead and go ahead and shift, click it, set the location, and we're done. It's pretty simple. Now we can go ahead and even set the doors. Now, a few things the developer did tell me, make sure the door is like this, because it, uh, the vents are always gonna make, because the way the NPC spawns is he spawns right inside the door. So if you have the door like this, the NPC is gonna spawn right in front, then open the door, which is gonna look a bit wacky. And it just wouldn't look ideal at all. So just something notifying you guys, whoever gets the plugin. So we can go ahead and do shift the air and door and then create a new door. And then we can set the door location. So just go ahead and click the door. And then we can set the entity location. So we can just go ahead and open the door, right click the location. So it'll be this right here. And then we can go ahead and close the door. Make sure the door is closed and then shift the air if you didn't if you didn't click save before and then click save door you may sh make sure all the doors are closed before you start the event uh, because it will recognize if the because the event will start regarding where the door what's the door states are on um which just trust me it will not look good so we can just go ahead and set these up as well so we can go for door we can create a new one set the location and then we can set the entity as well so just right there and we can go ahead and save it after that close the door make sure no baddies go in and we come in here we can go ahead and create another door it's relatively like i said it's super simple like that and we can go ahead and set the entity location i'll do one more not like i need to but i just do it just because if it's not just because it's an even number and uh we don't have any ocds out there so one more door let's go ahead and create it create door set the location might have done that wrong and then set the entity and then we can go ahead and save the door. Simple like that. You can also go ahead and, close and delete any other doors as well. So you can come in here, check all the doors. You can remove them if you want. And it's, like I said, all GUI, nice and clean. He did it so it has the best server performance for your server as well. And yeah, that's pretty much like that. Now what we can do is set the ingredients. I use the bricks, but you can use that any type you want. Uh, you can add any name to it. So let's go for, well, let's use some iron this time. And we'll set call these rock candies good enough you can set them however you want to it doesn't have to be like the way i did it what we need to do actually though is just go ahead and shift click the air uh, we can go back to the menu and we can go ahead and go to ingredients we have all the ingredient list but currently we have none we're just gonna go ahead and create one so we can go ahead and set the block type so for this one i'm gonna add iron ores and then i will add the ingredient oh ingredient name so let's go ahead and give that rock candy and then we also have an ingredient location just punch them around like that and we're adding locations pretty simple so we can do go ahead and do shift to air and we can go ahead and save ingredient and pretty much there you go we set up everything other than every single house but it's just a relatively simple process of copy and repeat but other than that that's uh that's the setup right there it's not difficult you have chances of getting a thief that might you know take your candy you have you have system where you should wear a certain costume to a certain place so you get more treats from it and everything from on there now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna hop into config i'm gonna show and explain everything that you need in there and that's pretty below all right so here we go we have the trick or treat folder all we gotta do is click on it and we're gonna have a few items in here you don't have to worry about the database plugin data and only things you really need to worry about are these so we can go into config and we can go ahead and edit with notepad plus of course and here is one of the main things you're going to change which enabled worlds you want it in so for mine i have it in the hub and of course if your world is not named world you're gonna have to change that the prefix you can change as well everything is nice and configured you can change if you want mysql or not and then you have of course the mysql database and here we have the the lobby so if you guys want them to use costumes or not depending on how you want your world you can enable it so that gui to use the costume will actually show so all you have to do is put all these here set to true and that's pretty much it then we also have the game settings such as rewards amount 50 minimal 5 and then the ban time so that's pretty much every time you can go to a door and get f treats from them and then somebody at the home you can put this to false or true and then a the percentage and we also have the thief so mine was currently set to false but pretty much the thief would be the one that grabs candy from you now that's, that's just rude 
who does that nowadays, right? And then we also have the tips. So this is some tips to give you and then ingredients if you want that true or false. And you also have the rewards as well. So you can change it here. And icon is a rabbit stew. And we have the costume as well. Now you can change it to your liking. And this is the color, the costume head. So um, you need a head. So you grab it from this user. And then this will be the name of the head. So you can add more if you want. And then we also have the NPC. So here, if you want the thief skins, you can add them as well. But say if you want to add a new skin for the normal ones. So these are the people that, you know, give you treats instead of taking them away from you. Uh, you can add one just by go ahead and adding a new line and then just changing. You can just do it pretty simple. I'm not going to do that because that was messy. So what I'm going to do instead is add a dash and then add quotes and go ahead and put example, my name, Diamond Rush XD, add colon and then we can just go ahead and add a name for it so i'll go for a nice um blue and i'll put devil there we go it's pretty simple like that and then we also have the sound effects so you can change all right here and that's pretty much all for the config once you're done save it close it and we can go over to the other ones so here we have the items as well so head chest plate pretty much anything in the gui you can change them to your liking as well make your menu a bit more custom than theirs and you can also have the messages here as well change it to your liking i don't have to go much for this change the message the color type the prefix relatively on you right now but other than that it's pretty much right there to config it's super simple and yeah it's not complex at all which i really love that developer made it all right before we end this video of course there are a few things that i totally forgot and do not want to forget in the video you can also do tot game item and that will give you this. It's kind of like a trick or cheat bag, in my opinion. And that's what I'm going for here. So if you click in it, you have all these items up in here. So you have the costume where you can change the color. So I can go ahead and change the color to boots by just clicking it once. You have all the doors you collected so far. You have current tasks you have to do. And you also have the ingredient, current ingredients and pretty much everything right here. You can also have all the hats you can choose from as well. So we have quite a few. And you can just change that to your liking. And that's pretty much it. So hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you guys have, make sure to smack that like button down below. If you guys haven't yet subscribed because putting out videos like this every week, even giveaways. And other than that, hope you have an amazing Halloween and I'm Diamond and I'll see you guys next time. I'm going to go throw some toilet paper over my principal's house now.